Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 17. Hey, we're in the workbook Business Math Chapter 2. You can get it from uh, going to my YouTube channel and clicking on my college website link. Or if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our website to Chapter 2. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about prime numbers. What is a prime number? A prime number is a whole number that has exactly two factors. Hey, what's a factor anyway? 2 times 2 equals 4. The 2 and the 2 are called factors, and the 4 is called the product. So what a uh, prime is is exactly two factors, 1 and itself, two different numbers. Hey, 2, uh, the only two things you can multiply together are 2 and 1. 3, uh, the only thing you can multiply together are 3 and 1. How about 27? Well, that's like 9 times 3. So those are, two, those are two numbers, but they're not itself, which is 27 and 1. So here's a little list, all the way down to 97. Now I want to go over to our uh, PDFs. Same thing here. The key is it's 1 in itself. 1 is not a prime number, because 1 in itself are different numbers. 1 in itself, right? 1. If we're talking, is 1 a prime number? 1 and itself. Well, that would be 1 and 1. Those are the same numbers, so that's not a prime. Here's a list of primes, just like we saw over there in Excel. 2 times 1, 3 times 1, 5 times 1. Uh, that's all we get for prime numbers. Two factors. This is a prime factor because it's a prime number. That is not a prime uh, factor because, remember, 1 is not a prime number. Hey, uh, these are not primes, right? 4, because we have a 2 times 2. As soon as you give one example, you can eliminate that number as a prime. How about 12? A 2 and a 2 and a 3. What about 26? Oh, well, wait a second. There's two factors, 2 and a 13, and they're both prime. Doesn't that make that uh, 26 number prime? No way, because remember, the definition is 26 and it uh, itself and 1. So 2 and 13 are example of two things that could be multiplied together that are not 26 and 1. So that is not a prime number. Now, how do you find all the prime factors like we did here? Because we're going to learn how to reduce fractions. Well, what you do is you pick a number like this, right? And you start with the number 2, and then you move to 3, and then to 5. What do I mean by that? Well, here's 27. You start with 2, and you say, um, can I divide 27 by 2? Why do we start with 2? Well, it's the first prime number. Guess what? Also, 2 is an incredibly beautiful number. Hey, it's the only prime number that's even. All the rest are odd. Hey, so we start with 2 because that's the first one. We say, hey, can 27 be divided by 2? No. So we move to the next prime. Can 27 be divided by 3? Yeah, so we write it right there, and we put a little zoop like that. And we write the answer. 27 divided by 3 is 9. And then we do the same thing here. Can we divide uh, 9 by 3? Yes, we can. Zoop. We do the division. We get 3. As soon as you get a prime number right here, you're done. And then it's 1, 2, 3. Those are the primes. Same with uh, 56, right? 56. Can we divide it by 2? Yeah. 56 divided by 2 is 28. Can we divide that by 2? Yeah. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Can we divide that by 2? Yes. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Ding, 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 ding. We have a prime number right here, so we stop. 2, 2, 2, and 7 are the prime numbers. Now, now I'm going to go to the next page here in the PDFs, page 4, reducing fractions. Hey, it's easy. Once you have a fraction, you do, you do Two things. You break apart the numerator and the denominator into prime factors, and then cancel when a prime factor is in both the numerator and the denominator. So here's a fraction. Oh, yeah, we got to break 16 up into prime factors. Well, we do it here, do our little, and we get 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So we list them there. Then we take our 26, we break it apart, we get a 2 and a 13. So we put them there. Break them apart, all the prime factors. Then you just cancel whenever you see a prime factor in the top and the bottom. And then you're left with 2 times 2 times 2 in the top, a 13 in the bottom, which ends up being 8 thirteenths. Proper fraction. What if you want to change the improper fraction to mixed number? Now, in the last video, we saw how to do it with formatting in Excel. But to do it by hand, you do the division, because this is a fraction, which just means division. And then you put the remainder over the denominator. So here it is. Uh, we have 8 divided by 3. So how many 3's are in 8? 2. 
2 times 3 is 6. We subtract it. We have 2. That's the remainder. So you take that remainder and put it on top of the denominator. So you get 2. That's the whole number. The remainder here over whatever the original denominator is. Um, and let's look at one more example. Convert mixed number to improper fraction. So here it is. We have our uh, mixed number, which we just got, right? 2 and 2 thirds. Remember, 2 and 2 thirds really means 2 plus 2 divided by 3. So here's how you do it. You take the 3. This is a, a shortcut. You take the 3. You multiply it by the 2, which is 6. You add it to the 2, like that. 3 times 2 plus 2. You get 8. And then you put it over the denominator. All right, let's go over to Excel. Let's just see first how to how to have Excel help us find what the prime factors are. Let's just put a, a two right here because we'll start. Uh, uh, well, two won't work uh, because that's not divisible. Uh, two won't work because of course that's not uh, divisible by two. So, um, but we'll try it anyway. Watch. Here's how we do. Oops, I got the wrong color there. All right. So here we're going to do a little formula equals this divided by this. Right? So we're taking 27 and dividing it by that. If we get a decimal, we know we're um, off the track, so I'll just type a 3 here and see if that works. Yeah, it does. Now watch this. I'm going to put a 3 right here. And I'm going to do my next formula. Equals this divided by this. And then there we go. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, threes. Now, this, this little trick, notice this formula is a relative cell reference. It's always taking 1 above and dividing it by one above and one to my left. So when we have a big number, we can just do this one formula and copy it down, which we'll do. Let's just do that right here. Equals this divided by this, even before we start typing in numbers. Now it's going to give us a divide by zero error, error, but that's OK. We can deal with that for now. Let's just try it. Well, 56, how about a 2 here? And then hit Enter. OK, and then we that's an even number, so we can put another 2. That's an even number, so we can put another 2. And sure enough, then we get 2, 2, 2, and a 7. Let's try it with 64. We'll do our formula. If you wanted to get, you don't have to get fancy. You can just do that. But if you wanted to do a fancy formula, you could do equals if this equals blank, right? Because if the one above is blank, and that is the uh, symbol for blank, double quote, double quote. If that's the case, then what do I want in this cell right here? I don't want the division error. I want blank, which is double quote, double quote. Otherwise, notice this is a logical test. Hey, if that's blank, if it's blank, then we want this. But what if it's not blank? Then the thing we want in the cell is a formula, this divided by this. All right, and then close parentheses. That is an if statement, a logical test, what to put in the cell if it's true, and what to put in the cell if it's blank. That's pretty cool. That means you can put like a blank or a formula. I'm going to hit Control Enter, and I'm going to copy it down here. You don't have to do that. You can just do it this way. It's plenty easy. Now let's put a 2 here, since I know that is divisible. It's an even number. And that one, too, I'm going to type a 2. Notice how the if, um, right now it's evaluating to true, so it's putting uh, blanks. But now as soon as we put something right there, it pops, it calculates that formula. Hey, that's even, so we put a 2. That's even, so we put a 2. That's even, so we put a 2. Finally, we get our answer here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 um, twos. Now uh, let's go ahead and we did our um, by hand, we saw how to do the improper fraction to a mixed number and mixed number to improper fraction. But let's go ahead and I'm going to, in this cell type, equals 2 plus 2 divided by 3. And I'm going to hit tab. And this one I'm going to say equals 8 divided by 3. Right? Same number. They're just, you can express them in different ways. Now I'm going to um, remind you what we did last video Control 1. Boy, that took a long time. And we're going to, since we started with our improper fraction, we want to go to mixed number. We're going to click on fraction. And sure enough, the first one right there will do it, uh, one digit. So two and two thirds. Always look at the sample. And then finally, we'll do this right here, Control-1. And we'll click on fraction. And we can click on all these, and we never get our 8 divided by 3. Let's try. Uh, and none of those are going to work, because what we really want is a 3 in the uh, 
we want this mixed number to show up as an improper fraction, which is the three in the denominator. And there's you can see the examples down here that you can put a two, a four, an eight. So remember, we just click here. And I'm just going to get rid of all this. Remember, question mark, slash. And then if we want a three in the denominator, we just type three. <coughs> so that's the custom code that it will do that. All right, when we come back in our next video, we'll see how to go from uh, a decimal to a fraction. All right, see you next trick.